Hey, it's Mike and I'm here in The Sims 4 with a brand new Sims 4 room building video. First off, I have a new intro, hopefully you enjoyed it. That intro took me actually 8 hours to build inside of After Effects a few weeks ago, so hopefully you like how it turned out, it took me a long time. But um, I am planning on making some more graphics for my future videos, including for Sims How To and the Sims update. I'm going to revamp them and give them new intros and also new graphics for the show. So hopefully you like the new look. I am actually going to be rebranding a lot more on my channel in the near future, so look out for that in the coming weeks. But here we are in The Sims 4, building a room build, uh, a modern home theater for your Sims to enjoy using objects from the brand new movie hangout stuff pack that came out this week for The Sims 4. And I'm currently placing in some seating here, some modern theater seating. I do replace it later on with a more comfortable looking seating because that one doesn't really look too too comfortable. Of course, when you're when you have a movie theater in your house, you kind of want to have it very comfy and cozy. So obviously, you want to have some really premium seats for your Sims to sit on. Now this home theater has two sections to it. You actually have the, the main theater area and you also have a section behind the theater that I'm building um, right now. You can see the split and you can also see that I'm putting in some of the spa day dividers to kind of split it up a little bit more. That section actually is going to be used for a bar and also for a kind of like a snack bar for your popcorn machine and also for a coffee maker as well. Just a nice place for your Sims to get some drinks and some snacks before they enjoy a nice movie on the brand new movie screen. And right now I'm putting in the new seating that I said I was going to put in. It's more comfortable, it has more of a plush look to it, and I thought I would do a little bit of a slight curvature to it so that way it looks more cinematic and more like an actual theater. So I think that turned out pretty nice in the end. And I will actually be putting in some fencing behind each seating section so that way it looks a little more like a theater and a little more detailed. Putting in the red carpet here just to give it that cinematic movie premiere sort of feel. And there's that fencing I told you about that kind of splits up the area a little bit and makes it look a little more modern and a little more detailed. Um, choosing the, the wall color right now, trying to find the right one, I end up going with that really nice um, brown kind of modern slab, slat sort of look. And now I'm putting in the bar. I actually was trying to get the bar to fit in this whole sm in this small area here, but I end up having to make the room a little bigger later on in the video. Now I'm putting in some cabinets above the juice bar section here, just kind of giving it more of a completed look. And now I'm placing in some cabinets here, or counters rather, for the snack section where your sims can get some popcorn and also a cup of coffee before they go to their movie. I really like the overall look of this build though, it has a very cinema vibe to it with the um, the double entrances on both sides. So you, can, so you basically walk in in the center of the room and then you split off on the left or the right side to go into the actual theater itself. It's very cinema-like and I like how it turned out. It's also small enough to fit inside a lot of homes or a lot of mansions rather. I mean you wouldn't be able to fit this in a smaller house obviously but this is definitely a room for a mansion, uh, a modern mansion. Putting in the spa day dividers again because they got deleted in the process of painting the walls. And now I'm putting in some movie posters, some really nice movie posters that came with the new pack as well. These are really nice, they actually have a lot of different styles and colors um, with them, so I love, love those. Trying to find some curtains that fit on the other side of those other curtains, but they don't really work out too well. And now I'm basically expanding this room a little bit to um, be able to fit in a, a long bar. So this is actually the professional bar that came with, I think, Get Together. I'm not quite sure actually. I think I do replace it with that one. Yeah, I do. That's the base game one. And then I um, changed the color of the cabinets to a more black and white theme instead to fit with the bar because I couldn't find a bar that had a black on black theme to it. So it all works out in the end. And I really wish The Sims 4 had a mini fridge because I think that would have worked really well in this build. Just so your Sims could get like little quick snacks from the fridge, but they don't have that yet in The Sims 4. And now I'm kind of taking away some of the lighting here so I can put in some more ambient lighting. This is a theater, so you want to have more of an ambient feel to it um, and not really super bright, of course. So I do put some lighting above the posters themselves so you get this really nice sort of ambient look to them. And I do dim the lighting in the theater later on when I go into live mode, so that way it looks more theater-like. Adding a little bit of decor, decor, decor on the counters and then putting in a few more lighting lights above the bar itself 
and also a few more plants inside the theater just to decorate it a little bit. I actually did put some speakers in just as a way to give your sims that full surround sound. Now of course these speakers do not work with the movie screen but they are kind of like a nice aesthetic element that gives a more realistic sort of feel. Um, here I am trying to find some little decoration objects. I do put some lighting above or on the floor there in front of the theater screen just to give it a nice ambient lighting sort of look. And here I am actually changing the lights to kind of dim them a little bit so they're not too bright in the theater um, itself. And then in just a little while here we're going to go into the screenshots of course and see what the theater looks like in live mode. So there we go guys, here is the theater itself. As always, this build is available to download on the gallery for free by using the link in the description down below. So thanks for watching this video guys, and I'll see you next time with more Sims 4 content.